Okay, I'm going to go through the process of setting up the vision sensor and then how to create a program that allows you to use the vision sensor to have your robot do things depending on what color it sees. Okay, so first we have to set up the vision sensor. So I'm going to put in at a device vision and I've got it in 20 and then you have to click configure and you'll see it here in a second I've got it connected. Okay, so here's my way well, I want to clear everything. I want to start from the beginning. So I've got three different colors I'm going to teach it. Okay. So basically, so what I do is I'm going to, I'll just type the colors in first. So I'm going to say, I can't use the actual words because those are actually set up in the program. So because I'm setting them to something slightly different, I have to give them, I want to use a word I can under, I can remember what's what, but, so I'm going to use this, yellow, red, and blue. Oh, that's not red. That is orange. Okay. So, what I do is, using my cursor here, so if I uh, do them in order here, so if I highlight, I drag a square here, and then I click the thing that I want to match it to. And you can see how that highlights. So those, everything you see that's looking like that, it sees as yellow. And I can freeze it. A couple of things are interesting. It actually tells you the width and the height of this. And you can actually use that in programming. I was trying a little bit this morning, wasn't having a lot of luck, but you, I have used it in the past. Okay, so I'll unfreeze that. All right, and then, so now I will draw a box around this and I will call that orange and you can see it actually says orange there and it says yellow up there and then finally I'll draw a square here and I'll call that blue so I set that and it says blue so I've now I've taught it my colors okay so I can close this and click done and now those are stored now those are stored in the vision sensor itself if you switch out vision sensors you would have to reteach it it's actually my vision sensor i didn't mention this it is plugged directly into my computer so the usb cable plugs into the bottom of the vision sensor Good morning, Kuda. You have four minutes until and so uh, you have to plug it into the bottom. The, the small end of the USB goes into the bottom of the vision sensor. So you don't even have to have a brain for this. You can teach your vision sensor. But you do need to have it in the right place. Like I had it on the floor. The lighting does change it. I've, I've done it in the very front. And when I moved the robot to the back, it didn't work quite right. So uh, you'll, you'll see. But, but it should be okay. So I've taught it. I'll get rid of that. So now we're going to program. So I am going to, I'm going to put this in a forever loop, same as a continuous while loop. And then what I'm going to, I'm going to have a bunch of nested if else statements. Okay, so I put an if else, and then I'm going to put another if else. I'm going to put this one into the else, and then I'm going to do one more. So this is one for each color, basically. Is that in the right place? Right there. If this... If this is true, do this. Else, if this is true, do this. Else, if this is true, do this. Else, do this. Okay? So I'm going to start off and say that if uh, I'm going to do my stop driving down here at the bottom. So if it doesn't see anything, it's not going to move. Just as a way. You're going to do different things with this. I'm still figuring out what program I want you to do with it. But you'll be able to play around with it. So I come down here. And somewhere down here, I have my vision sensing right here so i need to above each of these if statements i need to take a vision snapshot what that means is at that moment in the program the vision sensor says what color do i see okay so i'm going to put one of these above each if statement and this one will be yellow this one will be blue and this one will be orange so it's only looking for yellow this time if it's it's taking a snapshot does it see yellow that's basically what it's saying it take it well it's actually not even asked it's just saying take a vision and look for yellow then we put down here if oh. so
So then I have to, where is it here? Uh, yeah, if vision 20, yeah, that is this. So take a vision 20 snapshot. So if that exists, now because I looked for yellow, it's only it's basically saying if yellow exists. So first it says, take a snapshot, highlight everything that's yellow, if you see it. And then it says, if it exists, then I'm just going to do a real simple program. I'm just going to do a couple of turns. Um, so I am going to, if it exists, turn right. I'm going to down here. I'm going to turn left for 90 degrees. And then uh, the last one down here, I will, oh, I, I'll talk about this actually. I will drive in reverse. And I'll talk about what to do with that. Okay, so now I gotta come down and put a couple more of those vision sensors in here. So if, where are we? So if vision object exists, if vision object exists. So looking for blue, looking for orange. And you'll see here, see it says vision object width. You could also do, in fact, um, if, if it's wide enough. So uh, I'll do this down here with my reverse. So if the vision object exists, I'm gonna pull that one out, check this out. And I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say, does it exist? I'm gonna say, if my, I wanna back up until it's smaller than, so I wanna use a greater than. So if vision object width, is greater than, and from what I was doing, I've got that big, what am I doing here, orange? Okay, I'm not sure what size of orange is, but let's just say 100. So if my vision object is, the width is greater than 100, then I will back up. And as soon as it's not greater than 100, as it moves away, the width gets smaller. So once the width is less than 100, it won't do that anymore, it'll just sit there. So I can back up a certain, it's basically backing me up a certain distance, but it's just a different way of doing it, kind of cool, okay? So that's what this would do if I did it. If it sees yellow, it'll turn right. If it sees blue, it'll turn left. If it sees yellow, it'll back up a certain distance away from it, okay? now. I wanna do one other thing here because we, I haven't taught you this yet. And that is to make a, to create a function. And they don't call it a function, they call it make a block. So basically what I do is this, I make a block and I give it a name. Let's say you wanted to open the claw, drive forward to pick up a block, drive forward, then close the claw, raise the arm, and then turn right. You do all that. Well, let's say you wanna do that a bunch of times. And so you don't want to have to drag those blocks in every time. So I can create a function which has all of that. It's like a little mini program. So I'm going to call it uh, block turn. And you'll notice the way I type this in, we typically for, for programming when we name things, if it's two words, the letter of the first word is not capitalized. The letter of the second word is capitalized and there's no spaces, no underscores. This is a, this is a, uh, proper way of naming a variable, okay? So I'm just gonna do that. These are other things, I'm just gonna do that. And it creates this. Okay, so now I need to define it. So I wanted to, if I can remember all those things I was gonna do, I'll do it up here. I will, um, and I don't know the proper numbers or anything, but I'm just gonna say I would spin the claw forward for 90 degrees, then I would uh, drive forward for 200 millimeters, then I would spin the claw, reverse, so this is going to open the claw, drive forward, close the claw on the block, and then I will spin my arm, I'm going to raise my arm, uh, 180 degrees, and then I'm going to turn right for 90 degrees. So here's a whole little program. Open the claw, drive forward, um, that one, close the claw, raise the arm, 
and turn right. Okay, now I've turned right, so now I'm not seeing my color anymore, which is a, a good thing too. And so now uh, what I would do is, and let's say I'm just going to put it in here, so I'm going to take out my stop driving. So I just have, I don't need it. I wanted to do this. If I don't see anything else, I'm going to do that. So I come all the way down the bottom. And here you'll see, here's my little block. I drop this in here. So now when it sees that, it runs this program. Every time it sees that, it runs this program. So it's a really nice way of keeping your code clean. And you have these other little mini programs, these function programs that you can then drop into place. And if you name it properly, it really can tell you exactly what you want it to do. Okay? So I think I've done everything there. Got the vision, got the functions. And we'll be doing something with this, but this gives you all enough information to kind of get it going. Okay.